to you. It is indeed Scotty McClue with the internet phone in. Friday night, of course, nothing gets past me. And a very, very warm welcome to you. Thanks very much for joining us tonight. So much to talk about and so little time to do it in. Get yourselves off to the telephones as quickly as possible. They should be working properly, I suspect. Yes, I've just had a look at that. That's brilliant. So that should be all in order for you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I say, how amazing is this? If you've just joined us on TikTok, a very warm welcome to you. Hey, Scotty, how are you? Drew Sky from... Uh, Oh, here we go. Off to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who is that? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hi, Scotty. It's Kareem. How you doing? Ah, Kareem, excellent stuff. You gave us a wee delay there. You were just playing with us. Oh, what? really? Yes, I, was, I can hear something in the background. I don't know if you've got something turned up or no turned down or whatever. No, I've got, I've got my TV on mute. That should be absolutely fine. Lovely to hear you. How are we tonight? Not too bad, Scotty. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> technology again. This was gremlins. <laughs> oh, no, the technology is absolutely incredible. No, no, it was fine. There was just a, a slightly delay when I was speaking to you. They're absolutely incredible. And Kareem, I've, uh, um, I'm just going to say there's Andy McCrory. Good evening, Scotty Dinky New Top Man Andy. Uh, Professor Numpty Heed says, hello, Scotty. He's on shot tonight. And uh, it's scones, it's scones and Kareem. I don't know what that means. That's Michael. Uh, good evening, good Hi. sir. Says D, the wonderful D Gurley. So that's just you. And all the TikTokers are with you, Kareem. Yes, hello TikTokers. Hello TikTokers <laughs> from Kareem Dinky Do. Now then, Scotty. Yes, not bad today, Scotty. Just um, I spoke to you yesterday about my heaters, so I've managed yes. to get somebody to come out and you know it's amazing it was one of these like you know you've got the comparison worth website so it's like you find a, tra a, a tradesman uh, and they put a bid in and if you're happy with it uh, ah, yes. back, then you take the job on and they'll come and do it yes i haven't tried that one there was one i got caught with about 20 years ago and it was uh -huh. a 50 pound call out fee regardless and this uh, oh. this gentleman arrived and it was a very simple problem. And he was a bit embarrassed having to take the 50 quid. You could see him just looking a wee bit sheepish, do you know what I mean? And he obviously was getting called by some control guy who was saying, uh -huh. right, you go out there and see what this is. And it's 50 quid anyway for the call out, uh -huh. do you know what I mean? And that system didn't last too well. Uh -huh. You know, but it was there's all sorts of strange things. But I was very lucky. I discovered a superb plumber, the old school, absolutely yeah. proper, everything done properly. You know. Excellent. Well, the, I've, I'm not going to tell you. The, I've got like it's emergency cover, so plumbing. Uh, like if anything went wrong with the plumbing, the radiators, the combi boiler, the the pipes. Um, Anything is all part of the, this insurance where they come out and they fix it basically. So, um, but obviously, there's other things you need to do around the house that's you need specialists, and that's when these other companies make the money. So, it was quite interesting to see the variation with the prices of the quotes because there was pictures put up and details what needed done. And I think uh, the cheapest I got was 167 to fit three radiators. And the dearest was four hundred and fifty. Whoa! <laughs> a wee bit of difference there. I think the one six seven, if they do a right job for you, probably yeah. sounds okay. You know. Well, I picked. I did pick that one because on the website they do encourage you not to just pick the cheapest, but read all the feedback and reviews. Uh -huh. uh, and I did. There was like over four hundred. Um, and they were all positive. And he, he, he actually, people were commenting he's done. The type of job that I'm looking for to change the free radiators. Yeah. So I thought, right, excellent. So it's coming in a week's time, a week tomorrow, hopefully, it'll turn up and do the job. So I'll be happy with that. Fantastic, <laughs> Kareem. Brilliant stuff. Kareem, I'm going to ask you a question. There, yes. The House of Lords were voting today about assisted dying. Now, I know our live stream here is cheerful subjects and fun subjects, but it caught my ear because I thought this is very, very interesting. 
And when we talk about God and all these different things, but then again, humans suffering terrific pain and discomfort very near the end of their life, what would your view be? Sorry to spring this on you, but what would your oh, view be on assisted dying? I, I think, uh, well, we need to talk about all topics at times. And yes. I think it's an excellent question. I am for it because if you, God forbid, well, one day I know my two dogs are going to need to go to the vet. Yes. And probably need to be put down if yes. they've got some type of illness. And I wouldn't want them to suffer. I'll give you a wee example. And as you my know, dad, as you know, I've had to do that twice. Yes, and it's 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 horrible to do. You feel terrible, but you would feel worse if you seen your dog oh. teary daily after if you didn't get that done. You would feel so bad. And well, I'm going to refer and, back to that just in a wee minute, but carry on, please. Yes. So basically, I'll give an example. My gran had cancer in 2014 and, and passed away and she had a device and I, she was in the hospital and she turned around and she said to my mum, uh, Geraldine, I'm scared to go to sleep. My mum was like, why? Because she, she said, if I go to sleep, I'm never waking back up. Mm -hmm. And they put this device on her that made her basically sleep until she passed away. And I thought that I, I didn't agree with that because you went, I think you're still aware spiritually what's going on around you, etc. if you were in that state. Mm -hmm. But if it was another quicker method like the way you, that you would uh, put a dog down if someone requested that, then I, I'm, I'm for that. But my gran had to lie in bed asleep for two to three days before she passed away. Now she had no food and she would have been dehydrated. Now, just because she couldn't verbally tell you anything because she was asleep, but you just don't know the discomfort that she could have been in that state. But my point being is I am for it. If, if someone's really suffering and uh, very hurt that needs to pass on, then make it a quick, painless way uh, for them to move on peacefully. Good for you, Kareem. Thank you for that. I can't believe you've come out with that because that's exactly what I was going to say. My own grandmother, two yeah. years of terrible suffering. And, you know, they, they gave her as much morphine and all that stuff. And she was a way yeah. down to absolutely nothing through cancer. And um, yeah. I thought, my dog's away in 15 seconds. The dog doesn't know yeah. what's happening 15 seconds after a wee jag, you know. You know, and it's just, my gran had it for about two years as well. And the strong person that you see, the character, yes. the sight, and just for them to deteriorate to near to nothing at the end. My gran, I always remember this, Scotty, that she was very, my gran was fantastic, but I blame the cancer because my last moment or memory with her, she was very cheeky to me. And my, I was my grand's favourite. Yeah. And my granda sat beside her shocked because he couldn't even believe it. But to me, that would have been the drugs. And that yes. would have been, um, you know, you, you'd imagine the state how scared. And, and, and she that. just loved you, Kareem. And she was so glad you were there. And she felt she could say anything to you as well. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that, that sadly was my last memory of her. But I have so many, so many. And I'm lucky as well. Wonderful memories. The, um, my mid early thirties, I had my I had my gran, and a lot of people don't have that, you know. That yes, you had so many wonderful that. memories. And Kareem, when somebody yeah. passes away, this is what I always say: just remember how lucky you were to have them. Well, you might find this is I, I this, dare say the word funny. When I moved at that point, I I moved into my flat. I'm now across the road in my house that I just moved into, but. My gran never got to see my flat and I desperately wanted her to see it. And I, I visually, my, one night, I actually kind of seen a shadow at the door um, and it was like my gran's shape. And I got such a fright and I, I, I sat up and I shouted to my gran and this, the shadow just, it just disappeared very quickly. Karim, it may I, well have been her spirit. 
Yeah. I, 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 I'm telling I you, I don't that. doubt any of these things. I don't believe sort of anything that seems too ridiculous, but I don't doubt because if you yeah. doubt, you'll never, ever see. Mm -hmm. How often has a young person said to you things like, I can he do this? Yeah. And if they're yeah. saying that, they're telling that. themselves they can he do it. Yeah. You know, yeah. Kareem, you want to see the feedback here? Wait till you hear this. Um, there's Thomas Ham. Hello, pal. Dinky do lasses. Beachy, beachy. Hello there, sir. Uh, here we go. Wait till you hear this. May I join your live? Says Kirsty. Yes. Dinky do, Scott. Evening, Scotty. Uh, wait till we see. Stay with me, Kareem. Then uh, death is inevitable. One should be allowed to decide if they want to pass. Uh, regarding the circumstances, Scotty, says all the sevens. Betty Jo, what a great call, Kareem. Uh, oh, country you, music in Canada, loving you. Well said, Kareem, says Betty Jo. Very good points were said there. Well said, says country music. Uh, Kulelio in Ireland, I never want to lie in a bed as a cabbage for years on end. Just pull my plug. Country music, yeah. there we are. I'm expanding your views in Canada. Dinky yeah. do. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, up Scotland to the cricket. That's a great way to respect memories. No such word, says all the sevens. I used to find people laughing and joking at weights weird, but as I've got older, I realize it's a celebration. Good night, Scotty. Nice to see you, says Jim Sierra. Hello, Mr. How are you? And there you are. So very positive feedback for your call, Karim. No, thank you very much. But it was your good question, Scotty, that you put out to everybody. You know, that's that's it coming from all around the world. So we're on our way. Kareem, you know that little video I put up about my grandpa on TikTok? Say that again, Scotty. Sorry. Did you see the little video I put up about what my grandpa used to say on TikTok about uh, the McTax yeah, like and that. the McGees? Yes. Uh, and you said you didn't get it at first. The, the takers and the givers. Well, I know it was to do with the wedding one. I understand about the takers and the givers. I thought that was really clever, but I, I still, it was the, the wedding one. There was twenty five pounds or something like that. All right, no, no. What happened is a friend got married. Uh, the registrar said it's fifty pounds. He, the registrar, right. took a look at the bride. In other words, thought, "What's he marrying this shit for?" And gave him twenty five pounds back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. A bit like of nonsense. Grandpa. I love it. I like the grandpa one as well, Scotty. But yeah, no, that was good. Thank you for that. Well, question. the grandpa <laughs> one has got 13,000 viewers already. Wow. Absolutely. Fantastic. And it's only 15 seconds. <laughs> You know what? That's what TikTokers like. They don't want something that's on for too, too long. And Absolutely. you know, quick, quick we look, quick we laugh. Absolutely, and on, it's great. Excellent, yeah. lovely to talk to you, Karim, and have a lovely evening. You know, you've got a call, another call if you need it. Thank you, thank you. Thank no, you. I'll meet you tomorrow. Night, oh, night, absolutely. Night, night, Kareem. Thank you very much. What a top man. Our Kareem, of course. Um, now, good one, Scotty. We love the banter, says Drewski. Absolutely. Yes, great chat. I mean, I know I, that was a serious topic, but I just wanted Kareem's opinion on it. If anybody else has got an opinion on the assisted dying thing, feel free to use it. But we are, by and large, a fun stream. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who is that? Hello, Scotty's Martin. How's Hel everybody? Hello, Martin. Thank you, do la. How are we tonight? I'm very, very well. Thank you, do to yourself. Yes. What's happening with you? Do you remember the series in the TV called Take the High Road? Yes, very well. I've just been watching it all again. Oh, I love it. You can get it on. Uh, you can get it on uh, the STV player. Uh -huh. Yes, and it's fabulous, and I knew a lot of the cast, some of them sadly no longer with us, but what an outstanding like, piece of work that was. Like uh, Mrs. Mrs. Mack. Mrs. Like, Mack, I actually went to, for an interview with the producer um, and, and asked him if uh, I could get a part, and he was uh -huh. absolutely charming. He saw me, he invited me for audition, 
and uh, we had a lovely chat. I didn't get a part, but it was it was a lovely experience going to see him. Very nice man called Brian okay. Mahoney. Yes. Yes. Cool. Do you um, do you know um, the Yorkshire Dales? I would, I would love to. Absolutely know inside out. I've worked in Yorkshire for years. Have you? Nice. There we are. So take the high road. Absolutely. It's well worth a look. And it just shows you what a professional job they did with uh, Scottish yeah. television. Uh -huh. You see, I used to work for Scottish television, as you know, and I knew them all from the, you know, the, 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 uh, the guys that run with the mail to the managing directors and everybody. Lovely people. Uh-huh. Do you actually remember all the all the TV series like um, Wild the Heart and Wycliffe and all that? Of course I do, absolutely. Big television man. I used to introduce oh. most of them. What about the bill? The bill? I love the bill as well, yes. Same. And what about things like Juliet Bravo? Yes, I still remember that. Yes, what about the gentle touch with Jill Gascoigne? Yes. London's burning London's London's Morse. Aye. I love Morse. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So there uh -huh. we go. Martin, lovely to hear you, and we will have another catch up soon. Yes, buddy. And dinky do, my boy. You take care. Love you, bye. Love Thank you lots. There we go. That's our Martin to the telephones, guys, as quickly as possible. Lots to talk about. And so little time to do it in. Now, what have we got here feedback-wise on the TikTok? Come on, take the high road. Kareem's the man. Uh, there we go. What have we got? A uh, good one, Scotty. We love this. Juliet. I don't know that. Dixon of Doc Green. Wow. Angela, I don't know what age you are. I do remember Dixon of Doc Green. Can you remember any of the other characters, you know, in Dixon of Doc Green? What was the program where there was a man with a gas mask box used to say, I heard that, pardon? Gas mask box. I don't know what that is. There we are. Hi from Jean Quer in Quebec in Canada. Robert, je regrette, mais je ne parle pas français très vite. Si tu parles longtemps, peut-être je comprends. Didn't you do the new? How good are the champions? Anything that Lou Grade brought us was outstanding. There is a saying in the media, if Lou Grade had been alive today, Scotty McClue would never be off our television screens. Isn't that beautiful? There we are. Heartbeat. We love heartbeat. Merci, mon ami. We snap us in any trouble at all. PC fancy. Well done, Angela. That's not Dixon of Doc Green. That's said cars. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yes, and do you remember Jock, Joe Brady in Z Cars? He used to go on a shift with PC Fancy. And PC Fancy, was he not, was that not Brian Blithard? I think so, Z Cars. Da, da, dee, 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 dee. Fantastic, of course. I didn't know you cared it was called. I've just checked. Ah, Colonial, excellent stuff. You would make a good green grass. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. Somebody said I would make a good uh, gamekeeper. Yes, with Snedden. The bears are having a party. Is that just the three bears? Super Gran. Yes, I've worked with Super Gran on, uh, on a morning interview program called, I think it was this morning for ITV. Gudrun Ua. Wonderful stuff. Scotty, you're Brian Blessed's dad. <laughs> You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Scotty, it's Kareem. Sorry, very quick second call. Not <laughs> at all. No, Kareem's the man, apparently. Uh, no, I actually forgot to ask the question that I was going to ask you tonight. <laughs> right. A bit over emotional with my gran and that there. So, sorry about that, Kareem. I hope you didn't mind me bringing that up. No, not at all. I think if people can listen to it and it gives some comfort and just a little bit of faith, then... And a I bit of understanding, Kareem. What I'm loving about this phone and one of the many, many things is that people are just themselves. There's no, yes. there, you know, there's no putting on ears and graces. 
And that's just happened because when we started the phone in and you started it with me, we didn't know what kind of people, we didn't know what to expect. Yes, yes. But Scotty, I was thinking at that as well about, um, I have to say well done to you because you faced a, a lot of challenges. You know, I, I don't know the politics behind what happens in radio shows, etc. But you've been about and you're very popular and people love you on the radios. But from your stories, always some silly producer somewhere shafts you and then you move on to bigger and better things. It's a very, very basic human feeling and it's mm -hmm. called jealousy. And in my experience, right. jealousy trumps everything for surreptitious badness and twisted views and all that. Now, I am not, to my knowledge, in possession of jealousy because I feel the media, there's room for everyone. And some of the halfwits that have come on here in the last six weeks going, oh, you think you're this, you think you say, start your own internet stream then, just go and do it. You know, um, and, and, and see how you go. And when something's very successful, you'll get somebody who's not been successful. Most radio producers want to be on air. Yes. Even yes. people that say they'll come into the radio station just to make the tea. They want to be on air. I know a guy who started as a tea boy and ended up as the managing director. But... Wow. He had, he had very little proper on-air experience of holding a big audience. That's the thing. And they don't know. And once a programmer took me aside, the managing director said, oh, hello, Scotty. How's everything going? Are the digs all right? And I said, yes, absolutely, sir. Thank you. I said, How, how's the show going? Is it all right for you? And his eyes glazed over. And the programmer took me aside by the lapel. And he said, don't ask him about radio he doesn't know anything about it <laughs> right okay so right. i was getting the message you know what i mean now maybe he'd yeah. come up through the sales side or something like uh -huh. that because radio commercial radio is about presentation and sales and also there's there's only about at the very most six of us probably in uh -huh. the world who are successful phone-in presenters. Yes. So there's six oh. of us in the world, yes. and, and apparently, according to everyone else, I'm one of them. So sometimes yes. you'll get a producer ticks over and somebody says, ho, ho, you'll, you'll, you've got your work cut out with Scotty McClue. And they think, I think I'll sack this Scotty McClue because I don't really fancy taking my knob. Now, the truth is, that uh, I'm no bother to work with. Uh, the head of ITV once said, I, I don't know anybody that doesn't like you, Scotty. You see? So, so, but you'll get the odd person like that, and they come in and they just say, that's you finished. Yeah. You know? It's horrible. Yeah. Or because yeah. you're so successful, you might be earning more money than them. And you can never earn more money than the boss. Well, uh, yeah, but at the point or to add on to what I was saying earlier on it was that you've continued you think, okay, here's a challenge I'm going to look at it at a different angle and you started the phone in you had the, the when it was during lockdown um, keep in contact with everybody I we were up on the YouTube and the Facebooks in the morning and the evenings yeah. I think, I Karim, think because cool. I know in my heart and the people know as well the product, i.e. us, the phone-in, what we're doing right yeah. now, is not in any way, shape, or form flawed. Uh -huh. And we uh -huh. know that. That's a fact. So if somebody doesn't want to on the radio station, the problem is not with Scotty McClure, it's with them. Yeah. You know, yeah. and whatever their problem is, I do not have time to sort out their problems. If somebody's yeah. got a problem with you, Kareem, that's their problem, not yours. Yeah. Do you 
Do you see? Because the product, i.e. Kareem, we know is not in any way, shape or form flawed. And the reason we know that is because A, we hear you every night and B, you've been very successful in your field. Thank you. So we know oh, that. So so that's the fact. So I have to myself take the yeah. constant because my real early backers that could not get enough Scotty McClure, they've all passed away. Correct. Yes. They're not there. When, when, somebody will say to me now, Scotty, could you give me a name of a referee? And I'll say, and I had very, very senior referees in this country, but they're dead. Yeah. Yeah. They're dead, and I think I'll 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 find someday I'll get my last boss. You see, and and it's that sort of thing. So it's quite it's quite interesting from that point of view. Um, and and as I say, there's a quote in the industry: if Lou Grade had been alive today, Scotty McClure would never be off our television screens because Lou Grade was show business, yeah. and he was the yeah. boss, and he was the head of a very powerful ITV franchise and a very successful ITV franchise that had the, the franchise for the whole of London and the Midlands originally, ATV. And he yeah. brought us programs like The Baron, The Champions, um, what else, The Saint. If you watch, um, if you watch Simon Templar, um, Simon Templar, Roger Moore as Simon uh -huh. Templar, and he brought us everything animated like Thunderbirds, Fireball XL5, um, Captain Scarlet and the Mysterians, Stingray, all these things that we watched as youngsters glued to our television screens. You see? And that was really great. Somebody coming in to see him, I think, I don't know if I've told you the story, Kareem. Stop me if I have. Somebody came in to see Lou. I mean, there's so many wonderful stories about Lou Grade, you know? And somebody came in to see him one day and said, no, they'd been around all the other ITV stations saying, I do puppets, and, and they went, no, that's not for us. And Lou lights his big cigar and goes, I take as much of this as you can give me. And that was Thunderbirds and Stingray. It was Jerry Anderson. Uh -huh. Then another guy went in to see him and said, uh, I've got a puppet show, Soft Puppets. He'd been round the other stations and they'd knocked him back. Lou goes, yeah. I took as much of this as you can give me. It was the Muppets. Yeah. Jim That's Henson. Fine. And everybody loved the Muppets. And then Roger Moore went in to see Lou because Lou had asked him to come and uh, work with him and Tony Curtis on The Persuaders. Uh -huh. And... Um, yeah. Uh, he said, it's not my thing really, Lou. I've had a look at the script. So Lou goes over to his desk drawer, lifts out a check that he's pre-written, takes it over and goes, Roger, that's just for starters. Roger Moore looked at the check and said, Lou, when do I start? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> he was just a lovely, funny man. Yeah. You know, and he and his brother went to a dinner one time. See, he started at five in the morning and yeah. he and his brother went to a lunch and suddenly his brother said to him, oh God. And he said, what's wrong? He says, I forgot to lock our office safe. And Lou said, right. well, we're both here, aren't we? Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> As if to say the only one of us that's going to get to the same side of you or me. <laughs> just beautiful. You know, they were they were so. just great fun characters. Yeah. Oh. But it sounds to me the newer ones, it might be a bit of ageism that would come into it and just, as you said, jealousy. And just, I find a lot of people that get promoted or into high up positions nowadays. And I can, ref I can reflect see it from teaching but i'm sure it's in other fields as well they don't have a clue no or they're, they're not very good at their job but they've got the gift of the gob well and the and gift of the gap and as you know there is a syndrome i think it's the peter syndrome and you uh, promote people beyond their level of competence so say for instance in a big institution you have somebody uh, that's failing at a certain job move them up a step 
you know. Having said that, the ITV companies, I knew the managing directors, and they were absolute gents, the whole yeah. lot of them. The guy we had in Scotland was just lovely. Yep. Sir William Brown. Fun. He was just great. And when you went to talk to him, he was the fairest man. He sat back and he eyeballed you and he listened. And then he gave you a decision. Great. Firm and fair. Yeah, Basically. just That's wonderful. Just wonderful yeah. because of the terrific experience. Yeah. Okay. Well, listen, Scott, what, I was, what I'll do is I was going to, the question I was going to ask, but I've spent too long in Nobella Collins, I wanted to come on. Uh, it was about, I'll, I'll raise it tomorrow with a, a couple of other questions, but it's just a thought that I went in to get petrol earlier on and the petrol was through the roof. I think it was 142 for, uh, and I, I, I raised this with my mum. I said, this is partly Brexit. She said, it's nothing to do with Brexit. They're very, they voted for Brexit and, are quite pro conservative, etc. It's, it's all to do with Brexit, Kareem. They can, they all, the, the Brexiteers, bless them, even close family, they, they're desperate to defend what they've done, but they didn't yeah. know the setup, even the smart ones. They didn't know what was going on, and everybody's been worked from the back to get us out of Europe so that the rich didn't have to pay tax. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know um, what I mean? I don't. I don't tend to argue with this stuff with my parents anymore because they don't listen. So No, they don't I'm listen, to... and if they're elderly, you think, oh, well, just leave them with their ideas, you know? Yeah, I, I tend to do that. But I'll, bring, I'll think of that tomorrow just for more examples and uh, another question. But I'll say thank you, do, and thanks for taking my second hey, call, Scott. Thank you, do, to you. Love you to bits. Thanks a lot, top man. There's our Kareem, as I say, and he's got his second call in tonight. Amazing. Fantastic, guys. To the telephones as quickly as possible. Of Wito saying Pet was the best in TV. Uh, there we go. Who have you ever been starstruck with? Honestly, stacks of people. There we go. Duncan McRae, Roddy McMillan. <laughs> All these wonderful people. Who's ringing Scotty McClure? You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you very much. You're so lovely. Love the show, Scotty. Love the show, Scotty. Thank you, do. Have a nice day, Scotty. Thank, Thank you so much. Bless Bye. you. Bye -bye. What about Bye. that? There we are. Love the show. A shout out for D Gurley. We like that. There you go, D. You can't beat that. Um, now, stacks of them. Yes, starstruck. Can you remember Cider Ronnie? I do remember Cider Ronnie. Big shout out to Cider Ronnie. We love it. Where's Numpty Heat? Has he been on the sauce? You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? There we are. Don't know who that was. Right. That's that one. Oh, go. Yes, absolutely. Isn't that beautiful? Fantastic. Now then. To the telephones as quickly as possible. Lots to talk about and so little time to do it in, I say. I can't believe we're already 33 minutes into the show. Now, AFC Stevie, that's a line you would troll people's lives with. So you are a troll. You've never seen me in the supermarket. You've never seen me crying or any of that rubbish. So you're a time waster and you're wasting your own opportunity. So I'm going to give you a lifetime ban, and you go and grow up. So there's AFC Stevie getting a lifetime ban. Grow up, Sonny. Come back when your uh, spheres have descended. Congratulations to my friend Daniel. He's learned some words. We love it. Who's on here? You live in Scotty's phone in? Who's that? Oh, my God, I can't do it. I'm sorry. Sorry? He's got the wrong number. How could you get the wrong number for Scotty McLean's phone in? We love it. Uh, fantastic stuff. Alex Hughes has just joined us on the TikTok. Welcome, TikTokers. Come and join us on the phone in. Go on to the YouTube channel. You'll see the URL just below my TikTok bio. And uh, come and subscribe and tap the bell. There we are. The politest wrong number. And Okalelia. Oh, wrong number. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Fantastic stuff. We love it. That's what it's about. Here we go. Hello, you're live on Scottish Phone In. Who's that? Hello, Scott McLewis. Martin again. How you doing, sir? Martin, dinky do. Are you all right? Hi, uh, are you? Yes, yes, very much. So, what can I do for you, Lar? What's your best film you have ever seen? The best film I've ever seen? Probably Sound of Music. Oh, I love the Sound of Music. Probably Sound of Music, uh, if I'm honest. But another one. I don't know if you'll have seen it, called Tunes of Glory, about a Scottish regiment after the First World War. Uh -huh. you, Tunes of Glory. Do you like country and western? Uh, I do. Country and western. Yes. Do you mean uh, music-wise? Yes. Yes, of course I do. Absolutely, yes. Johnny Cash. Oh, yes. Love Johnny Cash. Oh, I love Johnny Cash. What's your favourite music star? My music star, uh, uh -huh. my favorite music star, love Dolly Parton. I uh have -huh, same. Think she's amazing, and uh, obviously the greats, the Beatles, the Stones. Uh -huh. You know Kenneth McKellar, greatest all-round uh -huh. singer, and uh, Jimmy Shand, the greatest musician of all time. Kenny Rogers. Kenny Rogers, I love Kenny Rogers. Yes. Yes, no. yes, Lucille. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Love Kenny Rogers, fantastic. Do you think if you played a country and western song backwards, she would come back and bring back the kids in the car? Yes, <laughs> what? what about um, do you like Titanic? Oh, I loved the Titanic film. I mean, obviously, a very serious subject, but it was amazingly done. I know, I know, amazing. But I would, um, I would have loved to go and see the boat someday as well in life. See, see what? I would have loved to see the boat someday, the boats as well, some, sometime. The actual Titanic? Uh huh. Yes, yes. Well, I don't think you'll see that. It's at the bottom of the ocean. Is it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Bet Betty yes. Joe says, I think Martin's blue What do you mean? Who? You. <laughs> What does that mean? I don't know. I think she, she thinks you've had a refreshment. Oh, yes. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Lovely to hear you. Did you do? I've, um, I've um, just had a few coffees. Not, nothing, 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 nothing major. Just a, just a coffee. A few, a a few Irish coffees. No problem at all. Did you do? Thank you, Daisy. So, love you. Bye. Love you lots. <laughs> Big up, D. Gurley, says Sky. Is seven sheets to the wind. There we are. To the telephones, guys, as soon as you possibly can. What's happening here? Fantastic. Friday night, nothing gets past me, of course. And uh, I hope you're having a great time. Let's see what the chat's saying. Scotty, a cup of tea with a scone and jam with cream. Yes, indeed. Love your channel. Just discovered you after Alex Belfield was talking about you. How very interesting, Jack. Yes, Alex Belfield. Very, very, very big YouTube star. Yes, millions and millions and millions know him. Uh, Heidi, hi, Professor Numpty. Cheers, Numpty. There we are. Right. Good evening, Scotty, says Mark. Great as always to see you. Maybe considered a little out there. But have you looked into anything about the U.S. government's June report on uh, what was formerly referred to as UFOs? Curious and provocative stuff. Be interested to hear your views and your opinion. Here we go. Oops, I don't know who that was. We missed that one there. Uh, yes, not in it. Hi, Aaron. Dinky do. Hello, everybody. Uh, what have we got here? Trifle or chocolate mousse, Lord McClue, says uh, says James Gibb. Uh, there, Dinky do, D. Gurley. Who remembers Dr. Finlay's casebook? <laughs> uh, we're live on uh, Scottish Funny. Who's that? Hello? Do you speak? You don't speak. Okay, no problem at all. There we are. Absolutely what we call non verbal. Who remembers Garnet Way, says Professor Numpteed? Do you remember Garnet Way, Numpteed? That was amazing. 
What have I missed, says Suzanne? Everything, Suzanne. Never miss a second of Scotty McClure. Uh, Soul says, I missed your voice, the voice of reason, when I was in my teens, still now in my 40s. There we are. Screw self-censorship and jealousy. Absolutely. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, soul flask, I haven't passed away yet. I hope not. I'm out of puff trying to get home, says Susan. Uh, hello, Scotty. I've got to say, uh, you have to visit Castle Milk. The community spirit is great. Loads of community members rallied up. All oh, right, amazing nationwide coin hunt. How interesting. Who remembers John Toy, the anchor man on STV? You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. David, how are you? You're David, okay. think you do. You're sounding a wee bit gruff tonight, my dear. All right, okay. My voice of, uh, is just changing. I'm a wee bit husky, you know. Oh, is, is it? Are you are you maturing? Do you think? Have you have you changed? Well, maybe I've, I've, I was laughing a lot earlier on my, my friends, you know what I mean, you know. I wondered if maybe you were, uh, you know, your voice was breaking. Right, oh, well, maybe I, I mean, I've got COPD and asthma. Oh, uh, so, no, I don't think it's that. It just sounded a wee bit rough in your throat. I don't think it's to do right. with your lungs. See, you've got to remember, McClue's an expert on all that. Well, that's true. So I can yeah. tell you all about your alveoli. Well, I'll explain that your alveoli, well, I'll tell you, you see, what you've got, your lungs themselves are quite elasticated and right. quite pink, but they can't actually hold the air in, you know, because what right. happens is your ribs swing out because they've got belts yeah. of muscle through your ribs called intercostals. Right, so, Really Carry on. Right, well, I'll just tell you this wee bit, but tell me if you get fed up. So these are your intercostals, and they fly your ribs up. It's called rib swing, and they fly up right. your ribs. Uh, like an old-fashioned right. bellows, David, that they used to do the fire with. Right. Yes. Wow. Right. Yes. Scottish. So you imagine that. So you suck the air in. Now, in your lungs, if you can imagine a tree with no leaves, Right. Turn it upside down, and the trunk yes. becomes your trachea, your windpipe. Uh, your trachea, and then your windpipe. That's your windpipe, and then it goes out into your yes. two lungs. Now it keeps on yes. going. All the branches are little air yes. sacs called alveoli. Right, and I get. You've, you've got a nebulizer. Yes, that's a one. Yes. A nebulizer, yes, because your COPD, your alveoli have lost a little bit of their elasticity. Oh, yes, Scotty. Yes. I get bad days and good days. Absolutely. I'm okay. I'm okay. Of course you're you right. are. You're wonderful. Yes. You're not oh, just I, okay, you're fantastic. Do you know what do you want do you want to say about you? Can you explain all that just have an echo I love this? You can be a doctor as well, you <laughs> know, <I'm> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it that lovely? But I, 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 it's just to let you know what's going on. Sometimes the doctors yes. don't tell you all that, you know. No, they won't exactly, Scott. And you see, David, you've got two ways of breathing. Now, don't worry too much because what they can probably do is show you another way of breathing. So if yes. you've got shallow breathing, it's called clavicular because you're breathing yes. like this, David. I don't know if you see me. Are you breathing shallow because you're breathing by your clavicle? Your, you know, somebody uh, fractures their clavicle, their shoulder bone. Uh, yeah. So they're breathing up the top of the lungs. Now that means you don't have a lot of capacity. But if, John, John, John Scott can be a doctor, John. <laughs> if you're your other way of breathing, David, and this is where they might do some work with you, is intercostal yeah. diaphragmatic. Right. There's right. a good right. one for you. And that you're means... So, you're an amazing man. Well, that uh, means you're uh, breathing uh, you know. via your ribs and you're getting more air in because your diaphragm uh, is pushing down your abdominal wall and giving you more yeah. capacity. Uh, yeah. You see? I mean, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aye, but but keep on just when when you feel you need it. Have you got oxygen as well, David? Uh, I've got I've got the I've got the tablets and the nebulizer. I've got the solution. The nebulizer yeah, stuff, yeah. Yeah. Good, I good. Know. Well, That's listen. That. Every strength to you, my boy, because you're brilliant. Of no, and it just it just happened, David. See, wait till I tell you this. A guy, uh, and he's quite he's doing very well now, but he does a lot of uh, pinching my freezes and stuff, right? Oh, yes. So he does a bit of that. But I says, I says, yeah. nobody will ever be able to replicate Scotty McClue. And he says, oh, why not? I says, because they don't know what's coming next. I said, and yes. neither do I. <laughs> exactly. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I can go, I don't want to talk to him because I'm, I've got to talk to him for a couple of hours, you know what I mean? But, I mean... No, David, you carry about. on, my boy. You've deserved this, you know what I mean? You, you've you earned yeah, your space. Oh, oh, of course. I mean, I mean, I'm really annoyed because I'm, I was at the shop today and still people are paranoid about the COVID. Aye. I can see them in the shop and the big, the big, the big supermarket and they're all looking at each other, Scotty, and I wanted to go home because I was getting really stressed. Aye, you were getting a wee bit annoyed because they, they were making you paranoid but staring at you. Yeah, and this woman did it put her food on the, but you got the belt, the, the belt for her food, you know, in the supermarket and she's standing right off and I said to John, can you see can you see what's going on here? And it's really it's really a hand. But again, the government wants to have a lockdown soon, Scotty. Yes. Going into it soon. It's been coming up. Jesus. Do you think Scotty, so? Do you think so? They're they're might they're 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 they're
No, no, no. Listen, listen. You're going on a long time. You've got things to look at. Look at uh, 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 intercostal diaphragmatic breathing and all that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? But I said to John one time, John, I, bet, I, bet, I said, John, if I was really in pain, would you actually give me tablets? You see it? Oh, I, well, it's very difficult, and it's also very difficult to put somebody in that position because they would yes. be breaking the law. Do you see, I that's, know. and also, I don't ever want yeah. anybody to feel that they have to take themselves away. You know, they can come on and talk to Scotty McClure. My goodness, David, the nights we had people who were thinking of taking uh, themselves away. And uh, I can yeah. remember being interviewed in the radio, and there was a guy yeah. attacking me. He said, you've got no support network. You're not a professional yeah. clinician. And you give out all this. So I said, listen. If I've even yeah. saved one life, it's been worth it. Well, you do get clinical uh, uh, impression on your brain. You just told me about the COPD. COPD, so yes, pulmonary right? disease, yes. Yeah. Yes, pulmonary I, being yeah. your lung. Yeah, no, I, I, okay, you know, before I go, look at Sweden, they've got amazing. Absolutely, absolutely, there's all that. You know, David. I'm going to have to let you go, my dear man. Yes, Take great yes, care yes, of yourself. Yes, I love you. I love you to bits. Mind. And dinky do. You just got to thank you. Dinky do, la. Top man. Bye bye, 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 bud. There we are. That's our David. My goodness me. What an interesting night. So there we go. The numbers are getting higher on YouTube, says D. Oh, love it, D. Thank goodness. Guys, if you're on YouTube, subscribe and tap the bell. Because this is going to go absolutely ballistic. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you, dude. It's Archie from the Scottish Borders. Archie from the Borders. We haven't heard from you for weeks. How lovely oh, to have you with us. I've just been so busy. Oh, good. Um, I, I have been listening, but I've just only called in. Archie, two Be seconds back. on the TikTok. It's good to talk, Scotty. Scotty, how are you, uh, Dinky Do? Wait a wee minute. Dinky Do from Pitlochry says Art Monty. We love Pitlochry. Oh. Now then, go on, Archie. Uh, I'm actually a YouTube watcher a good amount of the time, anyway. You're in. You're in what? I, I, I watch through YouTube. Ah, YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Have you subscribed? Oh, you've got the bell on. Fantastic. Dinky do. I'm a free time when you're not live, but I enjoy watching your old content. Yes, absolutely. You'll get a smile with that. Oh, of course. My favourite one was the, uh, the, the guy from the, the law place, and you just, you wouldn't, you wouldn't leave more about the place. Oh, the place. free law village. There's only one oh, who's no. there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All the seven says, I love the build-up. It's going to go ballistic. It is going to go ballistic. Once people start discovering this phone-in, it will go ballistic. Trust me. I remember saying that when I first started calling, and we were about maybe 10 to 12 views on YouTube, and now we're up to about, you're up to about 30 views a night on YouTube. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I mean, I just see it growing and growing. I mean, I'll give you an example, Archie. I don't know if you heard me yeah. say yesterday. I did a 15-second TikTok video yesterday at right. uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And um, when I was going on air tonight, 13,000 had seen it. Good way. You know, I mean, just I didn't know. I, I I looked at it a few minutes later. I thought, oh, there's two people already. That's brilliant. And then when I got home, it was three thousand. Oh, it's, it's excellent. And it, like I say, it brings you. I, I have no doubt some of the viewers on YouTube at the minute. All the sevens is saying, uh, you'll be doing this in ten years. You think, Scotty? Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. You know, actually, the, the first time I ever saw you, it was on TikTok, and you're talking about people, it involved people wearing a certain colour of dress on their second time round. Oh, yes, uh, the bridal dress, should they be wearing, yeah. should they be allowed to wear white yeah. second time round? I think we might raise that as a topic tomorrow. Oh, well, I'll have to, I'll have to be in. 
I'm going. I've been doing a bit of truck driving lately. I've been going down to uh, Boston and Lincolnshire. I know Boston Boston. very, very well. Yes, I love it. I love Lincolnshire. I like Lincolnshire. It's so flat. There's not a hill in sight in the whole. Not a hill in sight. I'll tell you, I passed. I'll tell you what I passed on the road in Lincolnshire. Lovely little roads, little uh, street roads, and a smell of onions. And I passed uh, Cranwell, RAF Cranwell, where all the pilots train. We have Douglas Bader train. Lincolnshire is great for flying, you see. Yes, it's better. It's like it's so flat. Yeah. Uh, taking down 40 tons of broccoli down to Lincolnshire. Fantastic. Uh, I'm so glad you're doing that, Alec, to be honest with you, because we need the truck drivers and it's good work. It is. Um, it's, it's not a good situation. No, and you sound fairly young, so you're the right age for it. Other end as well, right? So I just go down to help unload it and get it off. I don't have an HGV, I hope to at some point soon. But good man, uh, well, listen, very proud of you. That's the game. Oh, thank you very much. It's, it's, it's not a good situation. Um, I hope that it'll be solved. The HGV shortage, uh, that, that, that's a great another conversation about because it's just. We will. We'll talk about all these things. We don't like to talk about anything too serious. We don't like to talk about subjects that are really mainstream media because, you know, we get enough of that. But I don't think the mainstream media has seen enough of how this was the UK's fault. No. And it was, and that, that, that was, uh, it wouldn't, if it wasn't for the idiotic actions, it wouldn't be happening, but... Anyway, that's a, a, a path not to go down. That's another one to go down. Archie, an absolute joy talking to you. And we will catch yeah, up again good. soon. We will. It's good to hear, good to hear from you. And it's been good to tonight. Top man, I bless you. Love to the borders and to you. Dinky do. Thank you. Dinky do. Dinky do, Lala. There we are. That's your Archie. Free the borders. Fantastic. Free the Jedburgh, if I remember right. Now, we're going to have to say goodnight to the beautiful, beautiful TikTokers in a minute. Uh, Scotty, you're the voice that can almost relax people and awaken them from their slumber. There's such an agenda to put us all against one another. It's no fun at all. No soul, but we will have fun on here. Uh, There we are, an extra wee half of the night. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Do you speak? You don't speak. You're non-verbal. No problem at all. We're very nice to have you on. There were Dinky Doo Scotties as Ronnie Shaw. Absolutely Ronnie. Uh, good night and God bless beautiful TikTokers. Dinky Doo from Scotty McClue. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scott. It's Numpty Heed. Numpty About time we heard for you. Where have you been? Have oh. you have you just joined us? No, I've been here since the start. I, I hope so. Scotty, I, th- I thought I'd say a quick point. I was going to come on earlier, but couldn't get through. Now, the Queen's Guards, they're a waste of time. Now, Numpty Heed, that is a lovely thing to hear, that you couldn't get through. What do you mean? That means the phone-in's working. That means oh, your idea was correct. Now, while you're getting on the Queen's Guard, the Queen's Guard is the most important thing in the world. Guarding the Queen is the most valuable thing we could ever do. They're a waste of money, Scott. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. The, no, 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 no. These are serving soldiers. They're serving their country. You're a, you're a waste of time. That's what it is. All right, then. I've never heard so much. These are serving soldiers. Serving their country, they're up at the castle. Well, I'll if you go up now, the guard will stop you. I would get, I know that they're nothing but screaming your face if you get in their way. Well, there you go. Well, you need to not do that then. Why would you get okay. in the way of the Queen's Guard? Well, Scott, make way I for the I... Queen's Guard. All right, get away for the Queen's Guard. No, like, not get for? away for the Queen's Guard, make way for the Queen's Guard. Nonsense, wasting money. Right, you listen. Never had so much rubbish in all my life. Away you go. There we are. See him when he's sober. Nightmare. 
<laughs> it's okay when he's had a refreshment. D Girl is laughing here. Dinky do. Hi, everybody. Wow, we're busy on the chat tonight. Lady Scotty down at Kirkconnell, says Stephen. Hope all's well with you. Stephen, we love you. Have you ever heard of the tea and biscuit, Stephen? It's on your beat. See you after. We've got to go. We're out of time.